Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. <laughs> he looks so lost. We gotta break some bad news. We gotta oh, go. Right. Yeah, we gotta go into Bottles' <laughs> house, which uh, it's it's a nice place, really. Yeah. Oh Lord. We gotta we, we, we gotta break the news. <sighs> Hello there, Mrs. Bottles. Lovely memorial. Po I mean, lovely f p p portrait of your of your husband who is st mm -hmm. still alive. So, she has a banjo Tui mug. It's cute. <laughs> Kazooie! Too soon! <laughs> you like my mug? I like uh... bitches and tricks! <laughs> Silly Mrs. Bottles. <laughs> oh, he can't do it! He can't break it! He can't, no, he can't. No! Let's look around his house. I mean, uh, the way forward is around here. Well, he won't need it. It's pretty roomy. Oh, no. And, uh, hey, uh, what's that? Oh, wow, a Jet Force Gemini <laughs> a poster. Jet what the hell is Jet Force Gemini doing here? Okay, I'll take it. I like Jet Force Gemini. Was that in the original game? I think so. Cool. I mean, it was, it was, out, it was out around this time, I think. I think it came out in 99, yeah. Is that a, uh, conga, uh, stuffed animal? From the first game, or is that Donkey Kong? That's that's DK. Kind of a uh, kind of stupefied, <laughs> kind of a chimpy character of him, but yeah. he's got the red tie. It's 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 Donkey Kong. There, there can be no cease and desist no, if wait, there are no, no letters. That's Monkey Kong. Monkey Kong. Right. Yes. Oh yes. Ain't that good? <laughs> Such high resolution. Too, too, too close. Too close. I think, that name, I think that guy is, uh... Juno? Yes, Juno. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. That's a missed input, sorry. That's Juno! Another kid. Hey there, Banjo. Is his toy another rare reference? I don't think so. Um... Maybe? Trying to go through what else did they... They didn't do, like, 1943. That was Capcom, never mind. Get a brain blast. Figure out what this is from. Fact check yourself. D uh, d banjo pilot! Okay, yeah. there we go. We did it. Why would we need substitutes? My dad is is coming home. Yeah. He only went for milk. <laughs> oh, another Jet Force Gemini poster. Uh, yep, that's Vela. The sea star. There's also a dog named Lupus. It's never Lupus. That dog is overpowered to shit, let me tell you what. <laughs> His dying wish was to- oh, no, sorry. Um, well, bye. Somebody break her spine? Well, I mean... She looked as good as 90s graphics could allow her to look. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is Jiggy Wiggy. Jiggy Wiggy Wiggy. No, you can feel. Wow, it's just a Jiggy in a coat with actual arms and everything. This is how we will open up new levels. Oh my! And this here is a silo. It's how you get around from place to place in the Isle of Hags here. We haven't opened up any yet. This is so different from the first game. I mean, obviously, I yeah, but it's just so cool to see all the new stuff they were able to create in two years' time. Yeah, the hub world's a lot larger, and the mechanics are way more advanced. Uh, uh, it's uh, a Jinja! I like the HUD changes. Here's our first Jinjo. Drowned in soot. He's one of the black Jinjos, and what they do is they go to their little Jinjo village. All these different houses, and you got purple, blue, Ooh. orange... Get a nice pan Red, shot. The light orange, and... gray, green, and black. Ah! Uh, oh, what a boring house. No so, furniture, no so nothing. If we find all nine of those black Jinjos throughout the rest of the game, when we complete when we get that ninth one, they'll give us a jiggy for it. Okay. Completing the houses get us gets us a jiggy. But right now we only have the one to speak of. And we gotta go and uh, show that to King Jiggy Wiggy over here. That's such a great name. I'm so happy. Over here is the entrance to the first level. An Aztec level? Yep. Really? I'm starting off strong. So you go up here. The checks and see how many you have <laughs> and how many you need. 
He's he's a disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I, <laughs> oh lord, that that look. He looks like an ancient key from a Tomb Raider game. Maybe a puzzle from Skyward Sword. I think to level up he needs to dance. He needs to do a jig. And we already made the jiggity wiggity Mac Daddy joke yeah. for last episode. That's not gonna work. Jigsaw pieces, also known as jiggies. Did you get the one piece? Oh, it seems you have found the piece. Okay, go with it. Start the game. Like, is it just a, a neck and and human body down below, or? Maybe he's in the process of changing, like, his head is just the Jiggy, but the rest of his body is human. Like, he was cursed, and, you know, he, he can't... Oh, this guy's cursed, too! No, th this guy is the deity. Uh, Gruntilda turn us, turned our heads into Jiggies. <laughs> it's so strange. So. We got a Jiggy, we need a Jiggy. We can look at these signs, too, and they uh, have little uh, clues for us. When Fortune smiles, here will be written the Jiggy Secrets. Don't know when Fortune smiles yet. So I can't unlock these until Fortune smiles. Well, who's Fortune? What if we go back here? What the hell?! Three hidden secrets! Hidden secret the first! Have you looked on the roof of the Red Jinjo House? Not yet. Well, can't, get, can't really get up there yet right okay, now, anyway. That's a free jiggy. Witchy world is where fortune, fortune may smile, smile upon, upon you. you. Oh, hey, oh, look at that. That's good. An egg container followed by jingling? <laughs> that's not really helpful because we don't have the proper context. So, uh, let's say we just go ahead and, uh, get the start in the, uh, the, uh, start in there, yeah? I would love it if Jiggy Wiggy goes, Where did you go? <laughs> that was my room. That was forbidden knowledge. I will not help you now. Forbidden knowledge. All right, so this is basically just Bottles' oh, uh, <laughs> puzzle challenge again. Yeah, you're right. That's fabulous. Much easier, way more time, and uh, there's a few changes they added, too. Oh. What's cool is that the picture being shown is a room in the next level we will be going to. Is this like a hint on how to do it, or is it just there for for funsies? No, it's just there for funsies, just looking around, just like, uh, Coming soon, if you can clear this puzzle! Which is, of course, pretty easy. I did it. There's no way to tilt- there's no way to rotate them yet. Uh, they give out a few at a time, and it's a, it's a little bit faster, too. So after we complete the puzzle, Jiggy Wiggy uh, waves his hands around a little bit, says something somehow with whatever mouth he may or may not have. And the crystal Jiggy starts to glow with immense power! Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Ilo Hags, Wooded Hollow! A great and mighty beam of light erupts from the temple! You just see fire everywhere and people screaming. All the Jinjos get set on fire. And the... Whoa! Whoa! And the door opens. Jiggy Wiggy's packing a laser. I feel like there should be a, an easier way to unlock your... Unlock your front door, you know? Just, just saying. You do not have enough Jiggies to attempt challenge two! Come back later when you do! Oh great, he's got a rhyming scheme now. So we gotta get four Jiggies if you wanna move on. Uh, how many in each level? There are still the ten. Okay. But now, it's time for us to actually get into one of these levels. Alright. Here we go. Show me what you got. This is the first level, May Mayahem Temple. Mayahem, Mayahem. Oh my god, that's a... That's, I don't know, that's an interesting pun. We've got warp pads now. Oh, that's nice. Taken probably from DK64. Get around these larger levels faster and better. So, in comparison to... Oh, it's hi. A, hi, Jinjo. Jinjo down here. Um, in comparison to, let's say, Click Clock Wood, what are these levels looking like size-wise? Uh, right now, I'm about to go into level five. Mm -hmm. And each level needs some kind of backtracking and takes two videos. Oh, my. All right, so longevity is what I'm hearing from this. 
Yes. All right. It is. It is definitely bigger. Make no mistake. Oh well, that's as uh, obvious. Honeycomb piece over there. We can't get. The hole is too small. Notes are different now too. Yeah, you were telling me about this. They are now in bunches like this, which are five each. Nice. Okay. So bigger, expansive levels, a little less on the collectible side. Yes. Mumbo also has pads. The way Mumbo works is a lot different too. Hmm. It's, 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 it's added so much here. Is there? There's a lot to check out here. All right, the mighty shiny one sleeps until his services are required once again. Probably not going to read all these signs because, well, it's dumb. Taking you the way through, you don't need are, the, are they basic hints on it, how to get jiggies? Basically. Okay. Some on the basic side, some on the vague side. You know, either or. Patooey. Patoo. Yeah. So, we're finally going to introduce this character. I'm Sergeant Kill You Lots. Come buy guns. We need 40. We need 40 notes. We have. We need 25 notes. We have 40. This oh. is Drill Sergeant Jam Jars. <laughs> oh, get out of here, Sergeant Peanut Butter. He's my brother. This is Bottles' brother. Oh, no. Jam Jars. Not too good. He might be dead. Recently deceased in the hands of Grunty the Witch. Kazooie pulls no punches. That evil green whore, I'm gonna make sure that you got the firepower it takes to take her down! <laughs> but you gotta give me the gift of music, son, if you want that to happen! <laughs> Sing me a jaunty tune and I'll get you an AK-47! You better be from the sound of music! If you can't do that, then I can't help you. The hills are alive! With the sound of notes! <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, I'll help so you. So angry looking. I will help you. So uh, he's got a few mole hills. I think he's got maybe two or three here. There's just like two or three at each level. Two or three moves. Yeah. Yes. One per mole hill, though. One per mole hill. Okay. So let's get to our very first lesson. This is how you walk. Okay. All well, nice first lesson. What you need is aiming sight. Hit the target, then you might. First person view by pressing Y. Hit left trigger or right trigger to fire with accuracy. That's no. That's that's not. That's not a rhyme. Check this. <laughs> I didn't realize that's actually a rare animation that he does. Oh really? He, does, he doesn't do that often. Slapstick. I love it. I love it. Happened the first time. It's like oh, I, I, I guess he's not that angry. <laughs> What's cool is that we don't lose the notes either. I was just about to ask: Is uh, did the N sixty four version have you re get the notes? I, I think uh, the N sixty four version caught up with the Xbox version, and that everything that you get is got. Okay, good. Because we're using ex the expansion pack now. So now I got a warp pad. We can now link between the warp pads, and you know how warp pads were. You played rare games before. Yep. AKA, so you don't have to run all around the level. You could just swap back to the beginning. Yes. Which is very handy. That guy looks so shocked that you were here. <laughs> the ginger on the bridge. We're going behind the little Aww. pyramid here. This is a treble clef! Whoa. This is basically the big super note. It is 20 notes, and we've already got 100 notes. Oh, okay, nice tutorial level. Got this uh, ginger here. It's one of the green ones, light green ones. <laughs> A cow and a toga. Hell. Look at the state of poor Bovina's field. Plague of filthy flies is scoffing by crops. Don't have a cow, man. Go, 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 go. Get rid of the pesky flies, of course. Alright, we just picked up egg, eh? Yes, a place for your first person banjo shooter. Here we go. Oh wait, wait, wait got it. Oh, like, hold on. Do, what are you doing? Oh wait, hold wait, on. Hang on. It's hey, past you, DJ. What are you doing? Push the button. Hang on. Let me think. Let me got it. Hang on. No, wait. Hold on. Oh wait. Oh wait. 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 Oh wait. Wait. Okay. Here we go. Press Y. No, that's that's how you. Ah! All right. Okay. 
right? I don't have to crouch. I just got to go in first person. Oh, this looks disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't like this. Yeah. This. This is how they did all their shooters back in the days. How they did oh. Gold Knights. How they did Jet Force Gemini. Uh. It's, it, it's, it's all they had because you didn't have a second stick to work with. Yeah. I but understand. it just doesn't translate very. So well. it didn't get updated for. The Xbox release? I mean, you can use the right stick, but you're still trying to, you know, graft this game on top of a right stick, and it just doesn't translate very well. Gotcha. Okay. Like what we talked about in Donkey Kong with the with the, that heavy N64 stick. Mm -hmm. Didn't really translate well over here with the nice, buttery, smooth Xbox One controllers. Do that. Up, up here and did oh. no. ah. We have to fly. <laughs> or learn to ledge grab. One of those two. All right, well. That'd be pretty nice if Banjo finally learned how to, you know, use his hands. Yeah, have Banjo do more around here, yeah? <laughs> Instead of having Kazooie do everything. All right, uh, what should we do next? Something on the top of this uh, pyramid here. Time to ransack the temple. Whoa, oh! whoa, 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 hang on. Whoa, 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 All right. Oh! Let's take let's uh, take it a little slower now. <laughs> Relax a bit, because behind here uh, is a staircase. Oh my god! For the Talon Trot, a very steep one. Oh! Ding! You're blowing my mind here. I <laughs> never would have thought of that. Wait, you're not gonna go inside? Not yet. Okay. Another jam jar hill over here. This is the Bree Gull Blaster! Here's a move that's a lot of fun! Nice, Kazooie has a handheld gun! What? Left trigger, right trigger, fire six, both high and low! Target Zan's temple, in you can go! Really? I don't think we could have even gone in the temple unless we got this move. Oh, that's cool! So now I can see the inspiration for the run and gun from Smash Ultimate. Because that wasn't in the first one. Right. Interesting. Mumbo is a lot different, too. He's got a souped-up skull. It didn't even look like a skull. It just looked like a giant honeycomb. Now, to use magic for Mumbo, you need these things called Globos. Cute little critters that got a lot of magical power in them. Oh. They like gremlins? Sort of, I guess. He's also got two levels to his hut. Oh, so he's upgraded. That's what winning all the poker games has done. Well, of course. Hey, Mumbu. You know, I've always wondered, people with thrones, what do they do all day? Just sit there? I guess he sleeps. You know, maybe, you know, pulls out a Game Boy that, or... That can't be comfortable, though. It's, like, made of bone and marble. Well, I think he's, like, a Muppet under there, so maybe he's always comfortable? <laughs> Somebody has a hand up his ass, making him talk. I don't know why we've never seen it. So we give uh, Mumbo the Globo, but uh, he doesn't transform us anymore. Hmm, he just gives you magical powers? Nope. Uh, we become Mumbo. We uh, get to oh. become Mumbo! Oh, interesting! They're rewriting the, the entire game mechanics. So at first you think, oh wow, I get to play as Mumbo Jumbo, which, yes, yeah, is, is pretty cool. You can't kill anything, you can only zap them. Uh huh. But what this essentially is, is that Mumbo is now going to go around the level and turn everything on. Oh, that's it? That's, that, that's basically his purpose. Uh, I don't know if there, I there, like that. There's a couple of mechanics that he can do, but for the most part, he goes around turning things on. In this level, he's actually got something to do. Okay, I kind of figured he would be able to open this door, because it looks like his face. You, you find Mumbo, you go to the pad, he does the thing on the pad. Leads to a jiggy, usually. It sounds like you're training a new puppy. Go over go here. Go on the pad. It says, Ecom Bocum on the pad. Oh, it does? Yeah, on the side of the pad. Summon the Golden Goliath. He takes the Globo in his jar. Does a few chants and then stuff happens. What kind of stuff? All kinds of things. All kinds of shit happens here. I wonder so, if that Globo's okay. Either that or it gets like. The, oh, you get to control this now? Yes. 
So we've gone from Banjo to Mumbo to Golden Goliath. Yes. Hmm. So we got a lot to do as the Golden Goliath. We'll start by going over here. And smashing the door. Smash the door open. Oh, first smash this guy. Oh, wait, never mind. Just smash the door. Just hit that open and it just breaks up that little I, hole there. I thought you were just going to walk through it. <laughs> just like breaking tissue paper. No, there's another door. Another door over there, yes. Nothing over there, that's something else. There's a boulder over here. Smash that boulder. Smash that boulder. Donk. <laughs> eh. Eh, get rid of this guy too. Eh. eh. And then just boot that open. <laughs> Take a little walk inside here. Jade Snake Grove. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's too many limitations seconds. now. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Gotta and hurry. Gotta hurry. And got, got it. it. I think there's one more thing I can do over here, maybe. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Hey! Hey! Uh, yeah, I think we're about done here. Yeah. All right, we're good. I think we got everything we need to do right now. At, at the at the current moment in time, that is. What a drastic change! I love it. Yeah. That's what you should do with a sequel: make drastic improvements. So, so uh, basically, what Mumbo did is he opened the the rest of the level. All right, all right. I just noticed he has a life bar. He does. It's, Interesting. It, it's smaller than Banjo's. Well, he's frail. He doesn't have any muscle mass, nor a bird on his he, back. He's a magic user. He's a glass cannon. <laughs> Banjo is. Is he the rogue, or? So then we can just pop back over to Mumbo's skull here. There's usually a, a warp pad near Mumbo's skull, though. Good. Just for situations and reasons like this. And then after that, you just hop back into his throne, and you're good to go again. Alright. So what was the name of the little creature we gave him? Globos. Globos. Do you think he, like, grinds them up to use their magic, just like, uh, you know, making Pokemon candy in Pokemon Go? You know, I wouldn't think too hard about it. That would only just cause you distress. I want to know what happens to the little Mogwais! Alright, back at the world entrance, and, uh... Don't change the subject! <laughs> just, just, just don't think about it. It's okay. It's oh. Okay. They're going to be fine. Crunch, crunch. And then fly. Yup. Oh, we can get a lot of stuff now. Uh, wait. Did you always lose altitude that quickly? God, that was far! Yeah, it was far. I was gonna come up here to get this Jinjo. Wait. Oh, wait, and, wait, and wait, and... and got yep. it. There's only two Jinjos in the Orange House. Aw, they haven't had any kids yet. They don't need to. Ah! It is a good way to, to get across far distances in a short amount of time. Oh, th what else can we get? There's oh, a, wait. Uh, a few I know what you can get. get. Get that honeycomb piece. Or this up here. What is this? We haven't seen this yet. That, my friend, is a Cheeto page. Woo! Whoa! Nice slowdown. So when we get uh, we get four more, come back to him. He'll give us a cheat. Legal cheat. Yes. How many of them are in the game? Oh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. There are a lo there are a lot of pages. I want to say there's three in each stage. Okay. All right. Next up, we'll uh, go to Jade Snake Grove. Learned that last new move from Jam Jar. Oh, right, that did happen. I want to apologize ahead of time, I'm going to be doing this a lot. Is this your speedrunner strat? Just just jumping with talent, right? Just, it just seems faster and it's less annoying than... <laughs> <laughs> well, just imagine Lanky Kong. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Oh, I need a mod stat that replaces all of Kazooie's voice lines with Lanky Kong. Listen up to what you're oh told. Oh my god. On the edges you can now hold. 
<laughs> Move along with the greatest of ease. Button X to attack what you please. Uh, yeah, alright. Cool. I called it. I'm a clairvoyant. Little tutorial up here. Get this Jinjo. Uh, in a manner speaking. Just like that. Oh my god, that's so nice. You'd be surprised how much this opens up the game. I, yeah. I can kind of see it. You can go anywhere now. Essentially, yeah. Anywhere. This is another... Oh, it's a warp. Okay. Another warp so we can get over here easily. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Can't understand him. Oh, yeah. Do, do we chuck eggs in his mouth, or...? Uh, let's not worry about him for now. Oh, okay. Make our way over here. A lot of going forward and leaving, I've noticed, for these levels. Yeah, it's a lot of back and forth. I think that's where the influence of DK64 came in. I was supposed to bring the Goliath oh. in here to open up this door. Because uh. that was the one last thing I was supposed to do, but we can always bring it back. Now, this is uh, an interesting one up here. That's a texture. Ugh. Ooh, can we not step on brambles? We step on brambles, a snake eats it, and it's like, Go away! Thought you'd steal Slumber's gold while he slept, did you? Well, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> ah! I heard you coming! I love how the snake is named Slumber. And you see that one little square in the bottom right corner? Mm-hmm. There's what you do. You hop up here. You... you like oh, that. do you have to just make and it there? just... Gently, slowly... Carefully, uh, inch by inch, millimeter by millimeter, make your way over, uh, and then loudly grab the piece. And then he doesn't hear it after that. Oh, well, alright. He, he made him deaf. It's like the Jiggy amplified the sound of the brambles for something. <laughs> We've collected your source of hearing. Uh, missed input. Missed input? <laughs> I miss the days of missed inputs. Yeah, I think I do a lot of missed inputs here in Banjo too, because I think it was like still in my fever of footage, footage, go, gotta get it all. Well, there's so many new powers now, and you got to keep the ones from the first game, so yeah, I, I got to keep track of all of them. You know, it's it's actually been a while since I got footage. It's been like a few months, so I'm a little nervous to go back into it. <laughs> Jump right back in, me bucko. It's gonna be yeah. fine. It's all yeah. gonna be fine. Yeah. Three minutes of refiguring out the controls is all gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun to talk over. <laughs> yeah, what's in here? I'm curious. Well, let's go find out. Do we get to steal ancient treasure? It's a whole new area. The prison compound. This is a prison? It's a prison. Hmm. Must be the outside portion where inmates can play hide and seek in the grass. Uh. There, there is a prison here. But why? It's for a jiggy. It, well, okay. That's a texture, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's just. <laughs> it's only a model. <laughs> Is that like quicksand or? Uh, it's something hurdy, I'm sure. I'm not gonna go in there and find out. Not right now. Nope. Do you know how terrible it is to play? An Xbox 360 game. Yes, I do. My God, do I know. On an old TV. Oh, God. I'm just thinking, I don't know if we'd be able to figure out that that was a blatant texture. <laughs> on a 480p, let's say that. L let me tell you, I, I got my first HD TV, you know, you know, of, of my own. Back in 2009. Mm-hmm. And I never went back. Correct. I, I cut out CRTs from my life almost entirely. Do you remember playing Dead Rising 1 <laughs> on an old TV? <laughs> Dead Rising 1 on, on an old TV, also known as, what's that say? Yeah, I, I, I'm squinting. Was it? Oh, okay. I Nowadays, saw. I got a 4K TV, and it's like, oh god, the text is so big. Can I, <laughs> can I make it smaller? <laughs> so here's our prison. Aren't you a groundhog? Can't you, like, dig? 
Well, there's stone there. Oh. Star. Star. Moon. Moon. Sun. Sun. Yeah. Wrong. It is wrong. The special code opens it, but one of those little craters will tell us what the code actually is. If we can learn how to understand them. Oh, we have to cross the language barrier. <laughs> oh god! These are annoying. What was that? This is basically uh, a challenge. You're like, or like oh! your, your, your adversity when you're going across uh, ledges. But the thing, it, it, it's, it's just padding though. You blew his head off. And the hit detection is really weird sometimes. You pecked his head off. It's it's just it's just bad. Kazooie! Anyway, up here is a Cheeto page. Oh. And, and over a Jiggy. And over there is a Jiggy that we gotta come back for. What? We, oh. We gotta break that boulder, and to do that, we need a move we get in level two. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about backtracking. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking here. Maybe not so much uh, for completion's Ooh. sake, but for 100%. For, like, not, not, I mean, not completion, but for, for like beating the game. But if you want to get 100%, then you gotta come back every now and then. Yeah. So you're actually gonna have cleanup episodes. Yeah. So we got what's called a skill stop honeycomb. I don't know how I feel about this, especially when you have full health. But it's basically, all right, let's stop the game, and now we're gonna fill up whatever uh, you, you w w on whatever honeycomb you select. So of course you want full. It's so it's like why even what? ask me? It's it's really dumb. Maybe it'll get harder as it goes on, or when I have more honeycombs. But weird. For now it's just, it's it, it is weird. It is very weird. Uh, in a pinch, I guess that would work a little better, but that's kind of dumb. All right, I gotta open up that uh, part in the other area. So next time on Banjo Tooie, we're gonna finish up what we can of Maya Hem Temple and maybe move on to the next level. I gotta get Mumbo real quick though, so uh, see you next time! <laughs> <laughs>